Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about uh, the minimum amount of equipment you would need to get a good workout in. Okay, so first we have to define uh, your goals or what a good workout is to you. Okay, so if you are coming back from ACL rehab, a good workout might just be, you know, getting a good quad pump and a hamstring pump and, you know, feeling good and stable on your knee. If you're a competitive weightlifter, you need to be hitting certain percentages at certain volumes and intensities and all that, and uh, that looks completely different for you. Um, but generally speaking, let's just let's just take the average fitness enthusiast, um, someone who wants to be healthy, you know, have muscle on their body, be lean, feel good, all that stuff. What's the minimum amount of equipment uh, equipment you would want to uh, get a good workout in? And uh, you know, obviously, you know, let's take this in the context of like creating a home gym. Let's say, like, if you could only work out at your home. What's the first uh, bit of equipment you would get? And again, there's a large variance here when it comes to cost and what you like doing and what you're able to do. Uh, but I'm just gonna talk a little bit kind of from my experience. Um, so in terms of getting a good workout and what there are a couple factors we wanna be able to play with over time. So obviously we wanna be able to do more volume, be able to do more work over time. All right, we wanna increase the loads to exercises over time. So get a little bit stronger over time. Um, we wanna be able to manipulate tempos, all right? And we also want to have enough variation uh, within our workouts to, to where we don't get stagnant with anything. But we also want enough, um, you know, enough consistency in our workouts to where we can see progress. So there's a lot of kind of, I, I look at them like dials on, uh, you know, like a stereo, okay? We're kind of like adjusting things as we go there. Um, that being said, when it comes to equipment, I think one of the first things people can really benefit from is just like a, a, a typical suspension trainer or a TRX, okay? The suspension trainers or TRX allow for um, lots of manipulation of intensity. So let's say I'm doing a TRX row or like an inverted pull up and I wanna come directly beneath the, uh, you know, the clip setup up top, I can make that a pretty heavy exercise. I can elevate my feet a little bit and I can really add load to that. And as I fatigue, I can kind of make it easier and easier as I step up, okay? Um, so that's just an example of how you can manipulate, you know, one different exercise and make it, you know, multiple different things with a suspension trainer. Um, the other reason I really like the suspension trainer is, um, you know, the amount of exercises you can pull off with one of those is just insane. Okay. So rows, pull-ups, curls, triceps, um, you know, knee tucks, things like that, pell off presses. There's just, there's a ton of different options. And truthfully, you know, the, I would say the worse you are at, let's say lower body exercises, maybe you got a, you know, replaced knee, you got some hip issues, uh, stuff like that. It's a, the TRX provides a great way to unload the body. Okay. So do less than body weight exercises. Um, and so for a lot of people like, you know, a body weight squat or a, or a hinge or a, or a lunge really hurts them. And so the TRX offers some counterbalance to get into new ranges of motion, complete exercises they couldn't typically do, uh, when just loaded by body weight or with gravity. Um, so the TRX offers a large variance in how much you can load. And that's why I really like it. Okay? So if you're going to start with one thing, I think a suspension trainer is a great place to start. Um, there's definitely like TRX classes you can go to where you get a whole workout in just with a TRX. I think that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing I, I think is pretty obvious would be like, you know, a set of like maybe adjustable dumbbells or at least a couple sets of dumbbells. Um, obviously, the amount of exercises you can do with dumbbells is insane. You know, you can do Olympic lifts with them. You can do, you know, presses, pulls, curls, all that stuff that you can kind of do with the TRX. The only thing I don't love is, you know, you're, you're stuck to that to that same weight while you're in hand. Now, obviously, if you have the adjustable ones, you can switch right there and it, it makes it very easy. Um, so that's definitely a benefit of, of those um, in that case. I think a barbell and some bumper plates are, are very, very versatile. Um, and obviously you can, you know, in terms of storage, you know, you can store all the plates up and store the, the bar over here, store stuff on the wall. It doesn't really have a big footprint on your home gym, uh, but you can get a lot done. So we're talking about things like, you know, clean and jerk, snatches, rows, presses, floor presses, deadlifts. Uh, you can also set up in a landmine. You don't even really need a landmine attachment. You can kind of set the bar in a plate you know, landmine presses, landmine rows, row to press rotations, all those things are, are options with barbell and plates. Um, and so those would probably be, you know, I, I think, um, you know, I think kettlebells are, are, are important too. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with kettlebells that you can't do with, with dumbbells specifically, but, um, you know, I think, I think, you know, suspension trainer, um, dumbbells and probably a barbell and plates, you can get a lot done with that. If we want to kind of step things up a little bit, we could start going down the route of saying, all right, I want a, a cable machine with infinitely adjustable uh, stacks on either side, handle different handles, things like that. Then we're starting to get kind of to that next level. But I think bare minimum, if you had, you know, only, you know, a set budget for your home gym, 
a TRX, some dumbbells and a barbell and plates. You can get a lot done with that. You can get a great workout in. Um, and again, depending on your goals, that, that would be a little bit more specific for someone who's wanting to add a little muscle or gain a little bit of strength. Um, you know, but if you're, if you're into, you know, like doing hit classes, maybe something like a, you know, an air assault bike or a rower would be phenomenal. Um, if you have a place you can run a treadmill, something like that would be awesome too. Um, but yeah, it, it really depends on your goals. I think those three pieces of equipment can get a lot done. Um, but yeah, obviously there's, there's different variances based off what you like and what your goals are. Okay. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Thank you.